For visitors looking for a spot to relax out of the bustle of downtown, Brewster Gardens is just the place. Located along Town Brook, adjacent to where the Pilgrims built their homes on Leiden Street, visitors can walk on a path that follows the brook from Water Street up to the Plymouth Gristmill. In the spring, the herring run up Town Brook to their spawning areas. Other wildlife, especially birds, can also be found in the park. For those looking to get away from the hustle and bustle and connect with nature, Miles Stander State Forest is one of the largest state parks in Massachusetts. Miles Stander State Forest is approximately a 20 minute drive from downtown Plymouth. Visitors to Miles Stander State Forest can enjoy hiking, camping, and swimming in College Pond, as well as learn at the Nature Center and on ranger led talks and walks. Reservations are required for campgrounds, RV camping is available. On the southwest corner of Cape Cod Bay, Scusset Beach State Reservation in Sagamore is the nearest public beach with ocean swimming. The beach offers 1.5 miles of beachfront, and visitors can walk out onto a jetty to watch the ships passing through the Cape Cod Canal. RV camping is available, reservations are required. Captain John Boats offers several opportunities for visitors to get onto the ocean. They're most well known for their whale watching tours. Naturalists guide you on a four-hour experience that is both educational and exhilarating. Imagine yourself within feet of some of the most graceful rare mammals in the world. After traveling to the Stellwagen Bank off Cape Cod, you can see humpback whales, finback whales, pilot whales, mink whales, and the endangered right whales. Whale watching trips depart from Town Wharf. The Pilgrim Bell Harbor cruise aboard the paddle wheel Pilgrim Bell introduces visitors to Plymouth. Tours are just over an hour long and leave from the State Pier near the Mayflower too. For those who want to take a day to explore Provincetown without worrying about Cape Cod traffic, the fast ferry is the perfect solution. While in Provincetown, visitors can explore the Pilgrim Monument, lighthouses, take a dune tour, view art galleries, shop in antique shops, eat in fine restaurants, and more. The ferry leaves Plymouth at 10 a.m. and arrives in Provincetown at 11.30 a.m. The passenger fast ferry leaves Provincetown at 4.30 p.m. and arrives back in Plymouth at 6 p.m. Captain John Boats also offers deep sea fishing and will make your fishing trip a pleasurable experience. Opportunities abound to catch cod, haddock, mackerel, pollock, and flounder. Four, six, eight, 12, and 14 hour trips are available. Deep sea fishing trips leave from Town Pier. Plymouth Cruises also offers several opportunities for visitors to get out on the water. They are most well known for their children's pirate cruise. An enemy ship has captured the treasure and the crew needs your help to reclaim the booty. Are you brave enough to man the water cannons and battle the enemy pirate ship? The pirate cruise includes pirate hats, face painting, fists full of treasure, buccaneer brew, and a boatload of fun and is appropriate for children ages 4 to 10. In addition to the Pirate Cruise, an ice cream Sunday harbor cruise and lobster excursion are also offered. Private charters are available for groups of 30 or more people. Contact Plymouth Cruises for more information. For those interested in music, there are several options for concerts in town. The Spire Center, located on Court Street, is dedicated to performing arts and educational programs, which support the vibrant arts community in the greater South Shore region. They offer a variety of entertainment, appealing to all generations, targeting both the local community and tourists to the region. Programming focuses on a variety of music performance and eclectic theater productions. For more information, visit their website. Project Arts runs a free concert series at Pilgrim Memorial State Park on Wednesday evenings during the summer. Just finishing their 13th season, the concerts feature local artists and is a fun way to spend the evening. The Plymouth Philharmonic Orchestra is a professional orchestral ensemble, presenting a wide range of live music and educational programs to people of all ages and backgrounds on the South Shore. The 2020 schedule includes a concert titled Plymouth 400, Adoration of Place and an original piece co-commissioned by the Plymouth Phil and the Cape Symphony, based on the Mayflower Compact. 
For those who enjoy live theater, there are two options offered in Plymouth. The Americana Theater Company seeks to enliven the cultural atmosphere of the Plymouth community by offering excellent, entertaining theater to residents and guests alike. Past shows include The Hound of the Baskervilles and It's a Wonderful Life. The Priscilla Beach Theater is one of the original barn summer stock theaters in America. PBT alumni include Paul Newman, Pat Carroll, Dan Blocker, Rob Reiner, Kitty Wynn, Peter Gallagher, and Jennifer Coolidge. Each season runs from May to October and produces six shows. The 2020 schedule includes Mamma Mia, Monty Python's Spamalot, and The Addams Family, a musical comedy. Located on North Street, the Plymouth Center for the Arts believes cultural experience and the arts are essential to a vibrant, healthy community. To support this, they offer a wide variety of classes and workshops geared towards both young and adult students. The gallery displays artwork from local, regional, and international artists and artisans, as well as theater and music performances, poetry readings, and lectures. Plymouth Center for the Arts is where art and history meet.